There are three letters in the business world that get thrown around a lot, and people wonder what they mean. They are DBA. And to solve the mystery, they stand for doing business as. A DBA is an alias, an assumed name, a fictitious name. It can bring out the creative side of a business owner, but a DBA mainly serves an important legal function. It allows you to conduct business under a name other than your own name or a registered name. You can use the DBA to help brand the business, use it for marketing, and to give credibility to the business. Any business entity can file a DBA, sole proprietors, LLCs, and corporations, anytime they want a separate name for clarity or in times when perhaps the business expands its products and services. The DBA is what they use for the public to see. How do you register the DBA name? The process is done either at the state or county level. In general, there is an application to be filed along with a required fee. Those filing fees can range anywhere from $10 to $100. In some locations, you also have to publish a notice in the local paper to make the official announcement of the new business name. The law seeks to protect the public by requiring registration of the name. The idea is that the public deserves to know who they are really dealing with, so the registration will contain the name of the underlying person or other entity. With some simple research, the public can educate themselves on who you are. The good news is that once the name is registered, other businesses won't be able to use it in that state or area. Most DBAs need to be renewed periodically, and if not, it will lapse. That isn't ideal since it can impact your branding, your website, your banking, etc. So keep up with the renewal rules where you register. Filing a DBA isn't difficult. Even if you hope to create an LLC or corporation in the future, you can secure the name with a DBA first, giving you time to finish setting things up. DBAs are a great tool for sole proprietors and registered businesses. Just work with the local requirements to go about it the right way and then get to work.